Hey guys, Mike here, Affluent Journeys. Guess what? I am right in front of the Crystal Esprit, and I'm going on what I believe is my 38th cruise now. I have to count it up for sure. I'm starting to lose track. And we're here in uh, Marigo, St. Martin, which you saw right over there. And uh, today we're doing a uh, seven night cruise all around the, uh, to St. Bart's and the British Virgin Islands, which will be quite spectacular. And uh, so today we're going to have a uh, full tour of the entire uh, public areas of all the Crystal Esprit. Um, I've already done uh, rooms tours of all of the uh, suites, uh, the big owner suite, my suite, and the small yacht suite as well. So make sure to check out all those videos as well here on the YouTube channel. Uh, now I am a luxury travel agent. I do represent and recommend uh, Crystal Cruises, of course. So if you're uh, seriously interested in booking a cruise on Crystal, I want to hear from you about it. And in most cases, I can improve the deal uh, that you may get on your own. Uh, this applies to North American residents only, by the way. Uh, even if you've already booked that cruise, I might still be able to help you on it. Uh, so make sure to watch through to the end of the video. I'll give a talk about that in more detail, uh, as there are some requirements that you need to know before you contact me. Uh, now, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to Affluent Journeys here on YouTube. That helps me a lot. Uh, hit the like button, of course. And uh, don't forget to put your comments down below if you've sailed on Crystal, maybe here on the Esprit. Uh, I want to hear from you about it and so others can learn from your experience as well. Uh, don't forget to follow Affluent Journeys on Facebook. You'll see all my special cruise deals there, uh, including those I get on Crystal. And give me a follow on Instagram. You'll see a lot of video shorts and things that I'm doing here throughout the cruise. And uh, so I think that's pretty much it. Let's go check out uh, the Crystal Esprit. So you can see there's only one lifeboat on each side here on the Esprit and the reason being is it only holds 62 passengers max and I think it has 90 crews so the crew actually outweigh the passengers which is uh, very unusual and that will uh, be a testament to the high level of service that they have on board. So you can see here at the back we have uh, one, two, three, four decks. We have the uh, submersible uh, here, a couple guys here swabbing the back deck. And we do have the uh, tender boats there, and we have uh, launching equipment there. And if you're coming on board in uh, St. Martin, you're going to check in here. It takes about two minutes, and then straight up the ramp onto the boat or the ship. And look, we got two jet skis also. We are now forward all the way on the uh, top deck here of the Esprit. You can see two Zodiac boats that they use for launches uh, in certain areas. And we have a really nice uh, pool deck up here. The uh, small pool. You can see the uh, lounge seating all around here. Now we're, now we're just after the pool starboard, and on both sides they do have uh, towels here and cold hand towels and bottled Dasani water here. And just after that we have the shower, deep decking. See we're in the uh, beautiful island of St. Martin out in Marigo. And uh, looking forward to my seven night cruise here. Of course we have the uh, cafe and some new people just arriving with their Louis Vuitton bags of course. This is the uh, grill. How's it going? Have a look at the uh, grill menu. Now we're all the way aft. Doesn't take very long to get there, maybe 10 seconds. This is the uh, sunset bar. Of course, we're fully covered here, shaded in from the sun. And port side, just forward of the uh, Sunset Bar, we do have a gym with uh, good weight equipment, exercise balls, yoga mats, and they do have fitness classes, uh, yoga, various things, hiking. So we have one elliptical, one treadmill, one seated bike, and one bench. Of course, we have more water and towels in here. We have some stretching bands. We got the big uh, techno gym equipment in here as well. 
just outside the gym. Sorry for the wind. We have uh, Jay's loungers with really nice uh, side tables. Another towel and fridge there. We have the men's room on this side. I think the ladies' room is on the other. Another shower here. And then guess what? We do have a co-ed sauna. Open 12 hours a day. on here. That's pretty much it for the top deck. We have a really cool uh, spiraling staircase here. By the way, there are no elevators on board the Esprit, so if you're not mobile, your knees aren't good, this may not be the cruise for you. We have a promenade deck here that goes all the way around. And a lifeboat. Hopefully we won't need that. So why don't we go in now, we'll have a look at the uh, patio cafe. Indoor and outdoor seating here. Really cool buffet setup. Good afternoon, welcome on board. Hey, how's it going? Mm -hmm. Nice looking buffet I've seen in a while. Uh, small batches of <laughs> hot selections here. We also have the seafood gumbo with mm -hmm. okra and rice. Cool. For the salad, we have the penne putanesca, the beef brisket, and a crystal a classica French dip sandwich. Oh, cool. So we have a uh, fresh squeezed orange juice every morning, and freshly ground coffee. A nice La Marzocco coffee maker. Here's uh, today's menu that you just saw. Right, just forward of the uh, cafe area, we have the Yacht Club. This is the main dining room on the Esprit. And this is open seating for all dining on board. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Also, uh, everyone gets butler service on board, so you can all order to dine on suite. And we have an open kitchen concept on the spree as well. Yeah, that was my butler, Clark, there. This is the uh, main dining room. So just in between there and the cove area, we have the uh, wine case. I hope you can see this. These are all the pouring wines, the Seamer Low. The Chianti is probably one of my favorites of the pouring wine. We haven't had this one yet. Uh, I've had the Pinot, that one's okay. Gave me a bottle of this in my room. Of course they have some ports here. This one is uh, an interesting blend as well. I like that one and they have a Syrah, Shiraz. Here's some more. We have a uh, Rosé, Côte de Provence. We have the Gutterner Vetliner here. We have a Riesling, which is not a, this is not a dry one. We have a Spatzles. Spatzles, I probably said it wrong. Well, if we say is one of my favorite Chardonnays. And the Heidsick Champagne is just the standard pouring champagne on board. Then over here is the Connoisseurs section, so you will pay extra for these. Of course, we have a Chateau Aubriand here, one of the finest wines in the world. Pavilion Blanc from the Margot Chateau. And uh, on the app, they show the wines by the region where they're from, in case that's of interest to you. Of course, we have Gurgich Hills Estates. Cristal, Dom Perignon's, all the fine stuff there. We do have a 1967 Chateau de 
to Kim. We have the famous uh, Gaia, Gaja. And right here's the uh, Murder Millionaire's Row here. Sorry, Chateau Margaux, 2000. Chateau Lafitte, Rothschild, 2000. Chateau Mouton, Rothschild, 2000. And the Petrus Bramoral, 2009. This one is about $5,000 on board. It's actually not. It's actually not a bad price. I've seen it around that same price at Total Wine. Of course, I have the Overture and the Opus Ones, Harlan. All right, there we go. Don't don't drop it. Don't drop it. Okay, so this is the outside navigation uh, controls. Inside we have the main area of the bridge, and they still use paper charts uh, just for kicks, but they do have the latest uh, navigation. You can actually steer, control the entire vessel from here. They have dual radars and uh, depth under kill right now is 17, and surface depth is 20. There's a 4 meter draft on the ship. This is the uh, old manual steering wheel, which they don't use very much. And then we have uh, dual engines with uh, blades on it. And more good stuff over here. You got tank plans and all that. And that's the communications room in the back. They got an award here. Alright, now on deck three. Basically, deck three is all rooms. My room is down there. Make sure to check out the uh, room tour that I made on that. So we do have a medical center here. Hopefully, we won't need it. And right here is the Serenity Suite, which is basically a, a treatment room uh, for spa services if you'd like to indulge in that on board. And they do have a good selection of the LMS amenities if that's of interest to you spa table, the hot rocks. Boiler, whatever you call it in there. And if you need a haircut or a salon services, they can do that here also. <laughs> Next thing I wanted to show you is the special Crystal Esprit app. And look at this. Uh, it has a full set of features for you to help you uh, enjoy your cruise even more. You can have ship information, all the deck plans. It's a small ship so you don't need to worry about that too much but it tells you where everything is on board. Of course a welcome aboard message there. The amenities, the dress code. By the way it's all Yacht Club casual. Guess what guys you can even wear shorts uh, to dinner here on the Esprit. They don't say anything about it. Uh, fitness center, all the good stuff, everything that you've seen. Here's a smoking policy. Uh, there is one smoking area up on the top lounge, I believe. So they tell you everything that's going on here on the ship. They put the daily calendar on here. Uh, today we are at Spanish Town. A couple days later in the cruise now. So they give you the same calendar here of events here that you get on the piece of paper in your room. Tell you all the port lectures information there, connoisseur beverage package, uh, all the pouring wines here are included on Crystal and they're they're very good uh, by the way so these are some of the extra ones that you can order in fact I'll show you those uh, here in a bit in the little wine cellar that they have housekeeping, spa services, you can book all your appointments and special things here. Uh, dining, I wanted to show you this. Uh, everybody gets a butler here on board the Esprit. Uh, so just earlier I clicked on in-room dining, uh, clicked on beverages and I ordered a latte with almond milk uh, straight through the app and it should be coming here in just a little bit. All right here's deck two. Again, it's all just rooms that way. It's called the Sea Breeze Deck. 
And then here's the uh, video deck plan. So we've seen all of the top deck, fourth deck, third deck. I'm in room uh, 305. Whoops. Get back to the deck plan. There we go. I didn't even know this was the interactive video board. And then we'll see uh, just this area here, and that's pretty much it for the uh, guests to see. Let's play around with the video board here for a bit. We've got plenty of time. So they show the amenities, the events, uh, okay. and the welcome on board. Uh, so you can see the cove here, the deck plans, cafe, service. And here's today's schedule, which I've showed already in my room on the other video. You can see what we're doing here right on the video board as well. And now we're on uh, deck three mid. We do have free self laundry. So there's one washer and one dryer. We've got balance and capsules here. Very high quality equipment. And then we'll see my room on my uh, room tour video. Get another shot of it now. But I wanted to show you today's daily schedule. By the way, I get welcome champagne and little bites here. Today, Rum Punch is the drink of the day, and also Crystal is yacht casual throughout. And guess what, guys? You can even wear shorts to dinner. All right, now we're uh, deck two aft. We have a conference room. And then right here is kind of the uh, main reception area. And then uh, Kind of seating area here. Of course, they're going to have all the brochures, a couple books and whatnot for you to peruse at. Lady Gaineran Meeks is the uh, godmother of the ship. And now we're getting ready to load up with new snacks. So, back here is a 24 hour snack area. Teas. I think they'll have coffee. Yeah, coffee's right behind me. They'll have uh, wine and beer and sodas, drinks down here. Then they'll have some salads and chocolate pudding, it looks like. Sandwiches, cheese plates down there. And then we'll have a uh, coffee maker here. Now we're aft on uh, deck two. This is where you're going to get on and off the boat most of the time. There's the security gate. And right here is the uh, Genting Explorer. It's a uh, submersible vehicle that they use uh, here on the Esprit. You do have to pay for it. It's not one of the included items. Uh, if you want to go see Nemo and all that good stuff. And from the reception desk, uh, you go downstairs here. And this is where the uh, marina is at the uh, back of the vessel. And this is where they're going to store all of the uh, kayaks and zodiacs. Okay. How's it going? And they got all of their uh, plaques that they get when the Esprit makes its inaugural calls at all the different areas here. So they store the uh, kayaks and uh, rescue equipment. Other things down here. And they store the uh, life jackets here. And then this is the platform where you're going to enter the tender. And then it's one of the tenders there. And today we're at, uh, this is called Great Harbor at uh, Joost van Dijk. All right, guys, well, that's pretty much the uh, end of the tour here. I'm back uh, pretty much where I started at the pool. I have a great uh, Elderflower Collins made by Larissa, the bartender from Austria. And I wanted to say thanks for uh, watching the video. I hope you liked it. If so, make sure to hit that like button if you haven't already. That helps me a lot. Make sure you are subscribed here to Affluent Journeys on YouTube and put your comments down below if you've been here on Crystal uh, so others can learn from your experience. Um, now. Also, uh, like I mentioned, I am a luxury travel agent. 
I do uh, represent and strongly recommend Crystal Cruises. I talked to some people who are just getting off the last cruise, and they said the dining is excellent. Uh, of course it is. It's Michelin-inspired dining program on board. Uh, that's what they say in their literature, so we're going to find out about that here on the cruise. And I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so, yes, if you're seriously interested in booking a cruise on Crystal, I want to hear from you about it. Uh, and in most cases, if you're a North American resident, uh, I can improve on that offer that you would have direct on your own. Even if you've already booked that cruise recently and directly with Crystal's North American offices only, so this only applies to North Americans, sorry if you live in Europe, UK, or Australia, I can't help you on it. Even if you've already booked that cruise, you're not paid in full, and you did not pay uh, through another travel agent, then I might still be able to improve that offer for you and I'll be glad to do it. So, serious inquiries only. You may contact me at the phone number in the video description or submit your inquiry on the website affluentjourneys.com. Now, if you want to see all my special deals and private offers that I get, including those here on Crystal Cruises, uh, make sure to follow Affluent Journeys on Facebook. All of my promotions go there. And give me a follow on Instagram. You'll see some other things that I'm doing here throughout the cruise, like video shorts and other postings. On and things like that as well. So I think that's pretty much it. Thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And please stay tuned for the next one.